was that was it for Kevin. Now we're going to have some other person that we're going to talk to. And hey, let's go meet him. A foil I did. Foil. Be Anya Yunis. Ah, wa akikulu. Wa biyo na kalimu kani. Wa biyo na kaku. Wa miro ni anki du kuoke de kani. Nyinga. Ndaboke Francis. Francis. All right, viewers. Let's get just a bit of history about this place. Like. Uh, we have Francis right here, and yeah, he has a bit of information that he's going to share with us. Now, Francis, in Wachawane, you've stayed here from 2017. Up to today. All right. You've never shifted out of this place? I'm ever here. Okay. Now, Francis, do you know anything into detail about this place? Do you know any history how this place uh, started? Which people exactly stayed here? I mean, which people are staying here and how they moved in here? Actually, I have that story. Please, would you like to share it with me? Mm, welcome. Actually, we have, uh, like me, I've stayed here for actually coming to three uh, uh, years. So, brief history that I can even tell you right now, we have so many clans that actually come here. Uh, though maybe most of the Lua who came here, they are from Baragaza. Others also, they came from somewhere else. But here we have so many tribes, like we have Acholi, which is the majority of the people. And also we have uh, these people who came from uh, that Barrel Gazelle, that is northern and southern Barrel Gazelle, that is the Nuer and also the Dinkas. And also when you come to Torit regions, we have Langi and also we have the Tugu. So we have the Siluk who came actually from uh, uh, the central part of uh, the country. And also when you reach to Jongle State, we have also another tribe there. So they are called the Jalu, okay? So. Actually, there are so many, but when maybe I came with my book here, I could, it could have been better. But only that, I left it. So that is how briefed I can just tell you. But right now, we are just in Lamu district, Palabekal. Uh, Palabekugila means to say settlement come. So life, it is not all that very bad. But actually, what they are doing, they are, these people, the NGOs, they are doing great work, by the way. So that is how uh, we live here and also the, the partner that... Uh, used to come to Aras as well as also different tribes who actually we, we, we do a lot of things with them. Thank you very much. Oh, so Francis, now Francis, you, you talked of very many tribes. How, how do they settle people here? Do they settle people by tribes? Like how do they choose you're supposed to stay here? Uh, how do they settle ran people? Randomly, they have just distributed people like that according to how maybe you have reached the, actually the receptions. So they distributed the people according to when you come, first come, first go. Then there's people like that. Like here, uh, right now we are just in Jerusalem here. This one is one of the great centers within the settlement even. But if, look, if I look at the different tribes here, we have so many tribes here. But actually those, those tribes also, they live in partnership. So the Jerusalem is, is okay, things to do with uh, maybe uh, tribalism, it is not there. So that is how people are living here. Lovely. Yeah. So like you said, this place is called Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Now viewers, this is Jerusalem. It's one of their biggest center within the camp, like he told us. As you can have a view, there are lots of business activities taking place, a bit of retail shops, the markets, you know. The, like the life is everywhere is just active. The activities taking place, you can see business centers, business people doing their own business. Now Francis, sorry? sorry? Yeah, sorry. I'm coming back to that. Now Francis away from that history like you've told us a bit how people moved in here um the tribes living here and all that yeah, yeah. how big is this camp uh basically uh, approximately i can say this camp it is it is actually a very big camp uh it can be six uh kilometers square so which means wow. it's actually quite a, a large area so far but still there is some other vast area which is still vacant so if i told maybe people maybe could come then they could just fill that area so much so that is it wait six kilometers like wait Square kilometer. that's a bit a, it's, it's actually a big chunk of land if you can ha have an imagination in your head right that it's a big chunk of land but wait I see few people here. So what these other areas is for who exactly? Hey. Are they like waiting for some other people to come and settle in or? Uh, basically, people are so many within the settlement here. Right now, people are just at the distribution center receiving their sales. So though maybe you see some other people, there are few here. Others, they are also still within the what? The area. But you can move tirelessly when you maybe you foot yourself. You can you cannot manage. Unless maybe when you use a vehicle on a motorcycle, you can act, actually complete the, the, the diameter. So, so is it. wait, is it like they have shifted everyone, I mean everyone from the from Sudan here, like all the refugees or there are some other people still staying there? Other people that are still remaining at home there. So how do they survive there? Like have you maybe tried to reach 
have any connection with them and then why are they there and why are you people here? Is it like people are just... Uh, are <laughs> you a coward? Uh, basically, there are some people who are still remaining out from there. But basically, the way how maybe they get their food. Some, some people, they have registered here, they come and collect their food and also they go back there. But that is, they are still continuing with subsistence farming. They also, they do a little bit even from home because there it is a little bit mild when you look into detail. Though maybe that street fire which was just signed, so the, the, the thing was just moderate like that one. So basically it's a choice. If you want to come here, you come. If you don't want to stay back, is it? Absolutely. Oh. Okay. Guys. But, but, but at home there, it is a little bit rude. It's still, there is some more there, right? Yeah, exactly. So basically it's just, I don't know, is, is it like the strong heart that runs will stay there? <laughs> Absolutely, I could say like that. Now, Francis, uh, okay, we've not talked about um, how do people study here? Are there some schools within here? Uh, like, are there churches within here? Do people go to church? Like, tell me about those things. Uh, are there schools? We have so many social services within here, like the schools, the churches, so many, there are so many here. Right from nursery, primary, and also the secondary section, as well as also the vocation for the technical. It's really there. great. There are that are is. Just enjoying their best, just going for further study. And also, there is one of the organizations called FRO. They are also training adults just to learn how to read and write. Read and write, I mean to say. So others, they have taught in their local language. Others, they have just introduced the English language. So that is how they have taught from here. Oh, that is great. Now, those schools, uh, how, do they, how, do they, how do they pay the fees and all those requirements and all that? Uh, how do the kids, I mean, how do the people survive in school? Are they provided with the uniforms and all those the requirements things, they need? Things to do with uniform since I came was not distributed, but books, pens was distributed at, at most of the school, more especially uh, senior and also uh, primary section of education. And also, as well as, the, like the way where I stay, I have one of the nearby schools for primary and also nursery. They were just distributed uh, these uh, exercise book, pens, pencil, and also they have just supported by some of the institute workers to be encouraged by their parents to, 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 to bring it to school. So that is what actually on the ground happening. Eh? So they, they are registered yearly and yeah. you just come and study for uh, free, everything is provided. Tamley, they do this book. Tamley, they give book to those people. All right. Mm. Now, viewers, that was really great. We had a great time with my friend here. I just got my, myself a new friend. He's called Francis. I enjoyed every single bit of this interaction. And Francis, mm. thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you so much, viewers. See you next time.